As you guys know, MetaTrader has changed a lot of rules and regulations that has left a lot of brokers and prop firms kicked out from MetaTrader. And of course, they have resorted to a lot of platforms that I've been doing tutorials on. And one of them today that I'm going to be teaching you in this video is Trade Locker. And of course, it's quite very simple, but I'm going to show you some tricks and some tips you can use on Trade Locker in this video right now. So depending on the broker or prop firm that you're using, um, they're going to give you some login details. It's going to be your email, a password and a server. Okay, I'm just going to use a simple broker. This is not a recommendation or a sponsorship from them. Okay, as you can see, this is the broker I've already signed up with. It's called o OS Prey, OS Prey FX. Okay, that's what I'm using over here just to make this example. Once you've done that, of course, you can just simply just log in and you'll be logged in into the platform. I'll now guide you on how to use it. Okay, there we go. So this is how essentially how the uh, platform looks. You can play around with this. Normally it's just right here at the corner, but you can put it any way you wish to put it so you can move it around. At first when I was on my full ultra view monitor, I did just put it on this corner that you see. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Okay, so talking about this, this is your buy and sell order. This is your execution platform basically if you can just press this arrow over here let me just stretch it on your chart you will see it shows you many options uh, that you can choose like your market and pending orders um, as well as your sell and buy depending on what you want to do so let's say buys over here and then of course you put your stop loss take profit values so you can input those values as you can see the chart is actually from trading view or rather it is trading view itself if I can just put it like that okay so as you can see I haven't put any buying prices of yet so let's say I put it over there and we can see the value so you can type it in or you can just press it save it as it is so it changes the value um, as you change for example if I play around with the stop loss it changes the value of the stop loss there if I do pending orders you guys know how this works so but yeah nevertheless this is more or less what you can do pending orders of course if you put it like this and you are buying that would be a pending order of a of a buy limit and so forth um, buy order yeah stuff like that as you can see execute okay we'll get back to that once we do examples now I'm just gonna remove uh, the stuff over here so you can click off so when you click it will show you SL show your risk to show you if you want to buy or sell to show you if you want to put pending orders so if you tick them off then it just takes off all of the stuff that you there for you okay you can just leave it at the corner so you can you can see it's quite simple now in the sense that they have all of the drawing tools that you would have on trading view so I do love the simplicity of this you have the time frames over here okay so the same time frames you would see i'm not sure if it's going to allow one second i think it does and on trading view you actually pay for one second so it's really amazing that you actually get this literally for free so that's very impressive um i think i'm gonna switch to this if i want to see some things in seconds so this is absolutely for free as you can see this is very fast so i don't know if you you'll be doing high frequency trading if you're using seconds but of course all the time frames that are available on your uh, trading view they're there indicators they are there um of course all of the you know uh, analyzing stuff like your bar charts and so forth your lines columns every type of chart pattern that is or rather chatting that's there you can get it okay over here as you know via trading view you can rename a chart you can load or you can just save it you can also put full screen you can also screenshot that so there are a lot of options you can zoom out zoom in and of course as you can see the trading view the chart by trading view so exactly the operator sif the nice thing about this is that you're gonna see your trade execution over here okay let's let's customize it i'm going to show you how to customize it i know a lot of people 
like myself i do have a brand so i do normally just trade according to those colors that i want so we can go over here settings so if you press the right side of your mouse to lead you to settings you go symbol and then of course you can just sort of change it body i like it to be always on the side of the colors that i use like yellow like that it kind of just matches with um the color scheme that i use on my company then we go gray also just use let me just use a lighter gray over there so it depends on how you want it so as you can see that's how it appears then you can also change these colors to exactly what you want it to be so but nevertheless that's how if you want i'm not sure if they do have the thing where you can display a symbol name and so forth you can also do it it will appear there okay uh, canvas all of those stuff watermark so there we go so they'll put nasdaq on your chart if you want that so you can see every time i'm not sure if anyone will want that grid lines i don't like grid lines so i'm just gonna make them dark or even take the opacity down just to customize everything here that you can see okay look at that now it's customized to the liking of my colors or my brand colors so let me just click that off just to show you so as you can see it's exactly like you would see my chart on trading view and of course the tools over here you can also customize the tool so if you're used to trading of trading view and you're paying it there's no need anymore because this one is just going to do everything for you the only thing they don't have they don't have multiple uh view screen uh so but if you open i think different tabs it will sort of do that okay so this is just full screen but again you have all of this trend line i'll go to pairs and uh, i mean trading stuff very soon now i'll show you but as you can see this is exactly the trend line so if i were to use trend lines i know i use arrows i know i use let's say horizontal lines horizontal lines so all of the stuff that you usually use when you sort of do your analysis you can sort of just like them and they appear right here then you know for sure that you can be using this stuff anytime you can also customize it just like you were to customize it on your trading view so absolutely beautiful over here now let's go ahead with trading this so how would you do that okay so did you see where i pressed i just pressed the arrow right there okay and it makes everything up here so let's go these are the pairs that are appearing on the instruments it's set on all but let's say you wanted specific pairs not all of these pairs to appear so this according to the broker that i'm using they have tons of pairs that sort of appear and then if you want the pair to appear on your chart you can just press it once and it will appear on your chart according to your chart settings as you can see okay we are on the one minute so according to my chart settings once you press a pair, of course, it will also give you the execution tab over there. Okay. So let's say I just want a few of the pairs that I like. Let's say I was trading AUD CAD. I'm just going to press the right side of my mouse and I can just say add favorites. So that's what you can always do as well. You add it to your favorites. Let's say I'm going to go for pound JPY, add it to favorites. And let's say, of course, as you guys know, tra I trade Nasdaq over here. So I'm just going to look for Nasdaq or just search the symbol. So depending on your broker, depending on your prop thumb, this is what should be appearing over here. As you can see, I can also add that to my favorites. Okay. Then, of course, once you go to your favorites, uh, you will see every uh, thing that you like. You can also just press it over there. And oh, because it's such Nasdaq. I was wondering why. There we go. So you can see all the pairs that you want to trade. And of course, guys, I need to thank the sponsor of this video, which is the Forex Funder. I need to tell you all about them. So you guys know if you're looking for a prop firm that allows USA traders, and of course, uh, they're looking for a high payout, this is one of the prop firms that you can also trade with. If you need any record of them, I do. I have traded with them, live traded with them on this channel. I have done multiple withdrawals of them. And of course, they're running an Easter special. So I'm going to put the poster over here. You're going to see it. And of course, if you're interested in signing up and testing them out, use the link in the description of the video to do so. So definitely, let's 
get back to the video. Thank you so much to the Forex Fundam. Okay, just now, let's say I want to trade um, Nasdaq over here. As you can see, I'm just gonna just play around with this. Nothing serious, I'm just gonna go to the 10 minutes and let's say I wanted to start buying, I'm just gonna open this tab as you can see, it appears neatly right now. So it's tucked in all the way to where the pairs are. Let's say I just wanna buy, but before I buy, let's set stop loss and take profit, okay? So I can clearly put where my take profit is and my, my stop loss is and my take profit and lot sizes. So lots are set in lots, not like other platforms and so forth, okay? Then I'm buying right now. So as you can see, it bought right there. There's no sounds that it makes, so it's fine. And the stop loss is set where I set, and the take profit is set where I set. And of course, it will show you your 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 profits right here at the bottom. So as you can see, it will show you your take profits. You can also modify that, edit position, and modify it here if you wanna type in some stuff. Close that. You can just sort of just press the arrow down pending all these trades so it will show you the trades that you took there we go also show you trades that you closed at your pl your total uh, p and l i mean and your total and everything there so let's say you wanted to close partials there's a button for it right here at the corner as you can see close partial and you can decide how many lots you want to close of this if you just close partial i don't think so let's say I wanna close 0 0.05 and I say close. And of course it will close that partial and you see it at close trade. As you can see, minus 70. So the trade that's running right now, it's only how many lots? 0 0.50 lots. And of course, if you wanna close the full trade, there we go, you would to press that and you close the trade. Also here you can press the X on your chart. So if you're on, uh, full screen mode like here you can just press this or you can always just come out of full screen and you can see how your trade is still running so typically this is how uh, this works I'm not sure if I missed anything zoom in zoom out it also shows you uh, when the market is open and of course save an indicator all the indicators should be there I believe when I was testing it out so let's say I wanted uh, let me just choose a very familiar, you know, Bollinger Bands with width. You see, there we go. It just also puts that for you to just show you if you want to close the indicator. Exactly like Trading View. I mean, it's empowered by Trading View. Just that you can put everything. Let's say you also wanted to put your your risking stuff like your risk toward ratios. There we go. Okay. Okay. So you can also put it depending on your sell and buys. I just put something here just to show you what's happening. But yeah, you can put this stuff and you can execute your trades right here. So this is Trade Locker. I just hope I did help you to really get an idea. But all of this platforms, yes, I know it's uncomfortable to leave MetaTrader, but they're way more advanced. I mean, to think about it, MetaTrader was only made in 1995 and they never updated any Thing. It's the same tools that people were trading in 1995 still get it. This stuff I knew so there's a lot of advanced tools that you guys have Even closing trades is way faster than trading on your desktop MetaTrader They do have apps for this so if you want to download the app do such that it should appear similar to what you see right now But this is the online version. They do have a desktop version for that. You can also download it Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. We do educational videos, smart money. We do um, psychology videos over here. So this is your home of education signing out.